Welcome Blessed Sacrament community to the first Mass of the school year. October is the month of gratitude. Let us welcome all the new and returning students and staff. We pray for the ability to come together and celebrate our school and to continue contributing in any way to make it a symbol of our Catholic education. Bienvenue à vous. La communauté de Blessed Sacrament à notre première masse de l'année scolaire. Octobre est le mois de la reconnaissance. Nous souhaitons la bienvenue à tous les élèves et enseignants. Nous prions pour l'habilité de se joindre pour célébrer notre école et pour que nous pouvons continuer à travers nos contributions de faire de notre école un symbole de notre éducation catholique. Please stand to welcome Father Constantine. darkness of the night hope for this world joy through all the land touch the heart of everyone take everybody's hand everybody together we are children children of the light we are shining in the darkness of the night, hope for this world. Joy through all the land, touch the heart of everyone, take everybody's hand. Come and gather round the flame, share the light in his name. We are children of the light. As the wind blows where it will, spread the news to everyone. There's still plenty of time to, for what we just begun. We are children, children of the light. We are shining in the darkness of the night, hope for this world. Joy through all the land, touch the heart of everyone, take everybody's hand. I, I would like to welcome all of you to Blessed Sacrament Church. <clears throat> and on behalf of Father Larry, I would like to extend to you his greetings and his prayers. Bienvenue à l'Église catholique du Blessed Sacrament and um, le curé, um, Père um, Larry, is wish you all the best and uh, let's Start now the Holy Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that have great sin in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Now is the time for the first reading. A reading from the letters of St. Paul to the Ephesians. A cause de cela, moi Paul, le prisonnier de Christ pour vous payer, si du moins vous avez appris que la dispensation de la grâce de Dieu qui m'a été donnée pour vous. C'est par relevation que j'ai eu connaissance du mystère sur lequel je viens de créer un peu de mots. En le lisant, vous pouvez vous représenter l'intelligence que j'ai du mystère de Christ. In former generations, this mystery was not made known to humanity, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and the prophets by the Spirit. That is, the Gentiles um, have fellow heirs, members of the same body, and sharers of the promise of Jesus Christ through the gospel. Of this gospel, I have become a servant according to the gift of God's grace that was given my by the working of his power. Although I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to me to bring to the Gentiles the news of the boundless riches of Christ and to make everyone see what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things so that through the church, the wisdom of God and its rich variety might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was in accordance to the eternal purpose that he carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord in whom we have access to God in boldness and confidence through faith in him. The word of the Lord. The response is, you will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid, for the Lord God is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. Response, you will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Response, you will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praises to the Lord, for he awes done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout aloud and sing for joy, O royal Zion, for the great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Response, Will you draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation? together. Alleluia. 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 Stay awake for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. Amen. 
you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Jesus said to the disciples be, be dressed for action and have your lamps lit be like those who are waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet so that they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those slaves whom the master finds alert when he becomes truly I tell you. He will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat, and he will come and serve them. If he comes during the middle of the night or near dawn and finds them so, blessed are those slaves. This is the gospel of the Lord. Hello everyone, uh, for those who do not know me, my name is Jesus. I'm just going to give a very short reflection on the gospel, because it's very important, no? And uh, I'm happy to see all, all the students and teachers from Blessed Sacrament here. It's, it's, it's very good to see the, the church packed with young people. And this is very important because Jesus really wants us to see the church as our home, no? a place in which we can come to speak to him, a place in which we can become friends with him, and a place in which we can receive the help that uh, we can receive his help when we need it. This has said very clearly, clearly that the, the church is also a place for, for kids, you know, for children, for young people. Sometimes we may have the idea that to go to church is for, uh, for all people, that is long, that is boring, that, uh, but it's not like that, no? Jesus has a special love for children, no? In fact, he mentions many times in the, in the Gospels that, uh, that we, should be more, we should be more like children. But not only that, he also said that he loves us so much, so much, that he always keeps an eye on us. And this is not only in the church, it is also at the school. Because I don't know if, if you guys know, but Jesus also went to school. No, he also had to learn how to, how to write, to learn how to read. He had to learn history, uh, memorize many things, and I'm pretty sure he also had to do many exams. So he knows that sometimes school can be, can be hard, no? That is why it's important that we remember that he is our friend, no? That, that, um, and sometimes we can, we can go and talk to him, no? We can go and ask him for help when we need it. That's why it's important to, to come to Mass, no? Because when we listen to the readings, when, uh, when we sing, when we take communion, when we are here praying, we make our friendship with Jesus even stronger. And uh, this is also why, why we pray, because prayer is, is not just you know, like a, a prayer you do when you have nothing to do. No, prayer is, is our way to talk to Jesus. When we pray, we can ask him for help when we need it. We can give him thanks for the things we have, or sometimes we can just talk to him when we see, when we feel that we are alone. So let us not forget that the, the church is truly like, like our second house, no? When we can experience the, the love of Jesus in our life, who, he can help us to, to be happier, no? We, it was mentioned at the beginning that this is the month of generosity. Sometimes we can't, no? We cannot, we don't want to, to give up our time. We cannot to give up, uh, we don't want to give up our things. And Jesus helped us with those things, no? Jesus helped us to enter into this fight, no? 
This has helped us to be more generous, to be happier, to be loving with each other, to be more friendly, to be better, no? That's how Jesus helps us. And, uh, and he can also help us in our daily struggles, no? And uh, at Mass, when, when we receive communion, we, we are really, really close to Jesus, no? It's a moment in which uh, we can talk to him because he's listening to us, no? When we take communion, he's inside of us. He's there listening to us. He's giving us strength. He's giving us joy. He's giving us hope. It helps us in our, in our struggles, no? And, uh, and it reminds remind us that we are never alone. With Jesus, we are never alone. That's why we come to Mass. Because sometimes, sometimes life is hard, no? Sometimes we are sad. Sometimes we don't have hope. Sometimes uh, everything seems difficult. In those moments, Jesus is with us. And this, this relationship, this friend, friendship, is even stronger when we come to Mass. And He is there with us. And even if, if we go far away from Him, He will always be waiting for us with, with no judgments, with, with no expectations, expectations, no? Even if, you know, when, uh, when, we, are, uh, when we are in trouble, or when we make trouble, He is, he is there for us. He, he never gets upset with us. So, brothers and sisters, let's, let's remember this, you know, that Jesus is, is there for us. He's a friend that He never leaves us. He's always there for us. So let us enter into the rest of the Mass. Let us participate by, by singing, no? by listening to the priest, um, knowing that this is our house, that Jesus is truly here, and that he listens to us when we speak to him. So let us try to, I know it's hard, let's try to focus, let's try to listen, to, because this is, is very important. No? It's not just like a, a lecture that we are going to give you, but it's, it's something that really gives us strength in the time of need, and it give us joy in the time of sadness. So now let's do the prayers of the faithful. After each petition, please say, Lord, hear our prayer. Response. Lord, we pray for the ongoing collaboration between Blessed Sacrament families, the parish, and the school. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for all students that they may be successful that they may be successful in all that they do and use the talents and gifts you have given them to serve you by serving others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, bless our teachers that they may guide and educate children, bringing them to the fulfillment of their potential. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Après chaque petition répondue, Seigneur, écoute nos prières. Seigneur, nous prions pour le pape François, pour puis garder le saint agli et répondre ta parole à tu demande. Prions le Seigneur. Seigneur, écoute les prières des malades, des gens troublés, ceux qui sont seuls et ceux qui ont perdu quelqu'un cette année, qu'ils puissent trouver du rencontre dans ta parole. Surtout les victimes en Ukraine. Prions le Seigneur. Uh, Seigneur, amène la paix au pays, touché par la guerre, la rébellion et la souffrance. Prions le Seigneur. Seigneur, écoute nos prières. There is an offertory. No. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. No, the offertory. Off. I said, but nobody. Mission of the gifts, so everybody can sit and we will sing the offertory. Oh, 
Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Everyone join in. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, I want to see you, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, 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 we cry holy. I want to see you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the Blessed, blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Who are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness.
May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and in him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, let us all pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, and be your name, thy kingdom come. Did you finish? Okay. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other that sign of peace. Peace more. Lamb of God, O oh, wonderful Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy. May the blood of Christ himself. May the blood of God. So now please all the great ones and two and all those who cannot take communion, it's stand up. Father Constantine will give us a blessing and then we'll continue with communion. No, you, don't, you don't have to come. No, no. You don't have to come just on your seat. Stand up. And then Father Constantine will give you a blessing. Just, just let the, the kids stand up. No, no, no. Just stand up. Everybody else, please remain seated and please remain quiet.
May the peace and the love of God be with you and in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please proceed to receive Holy Communion. We ask 
to keep remaining in silence, use this time to pray, use this time to reflect, uh, to really nurture that relationship with God. And so, due to respect, please remain silent or you are free to sing along. Water you turn into wine Open the eyes of the blind There's no one like you None like you Into the darkness you shine out of the ashes we rise there's no one like you none like you all together the words are simple our god is greater our god is greater our god is stronger god you are higher than any our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our God, again, our God is greater, our God is stronger, God, you are higher than any other, our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our God. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? Together, our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our God. One last time. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our God. Let us pray. O God, who in the Son Paul have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant 
the drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithful to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. You may go in peace, but you have to sit down to go properly outside the church. So please be seated and Who received, who received the Virtue of Hospitality Award, and those students are asked to come up at this time. The students, I'll call them out by name. I have the, the list here. Just give me one moment. And we want you to be able to come up and receive a special button that you'll be able to wear. So we congratulate in Miss Murphy's class, Leah and Gabriel. Please come up. In Miss Adam and Miss Fanjoy's class, Kate and Charles. In Ms. Andriaki's class, in Ms. Andrinov's class, Mia and Mara, Ms. Grober's class, Ivy and Georgia, in Ms. DeAngelis's class, Torino and Jada, in Ms. Coulter's class, Kristen, Bradley and Alexandra, in Ms. Sinclair's class, Isabella and Isa, In Ms. Montealto's Monte class, Lucas, Milan, Lucas Milan, and Milena, Ms. Bazaki's class, Rory and Mila, Mr. Kanin's class, Chloe and Serena, Ms. Fisher's class, Sophia and Pierce, in Ms. Silvani's class, Stephanie and Theodore, Ms. Morrow's class, Marcus, and Finn, and Miss Walker's class, Sophia, Emmeline, and Stefano. In Miss Zambri's class, Declan and Angelica. In Miss Gorino's class, Ava and Ethan. In Miss Parvu's class, Sophia. In Miss Kudlek, um, um, in Ms. Kudlek, Ms. Kowalik's class, Sammy and Leela. We also have, sorry, Chanel from Ms. Parvu's class it was on the other page, so congratulations to her as well. Please come up. Ms. In Ms. Amato, Ms. Famia's class, Abigail, Gabriel, Hugo, and Mia. And Ms. Sinelli's class, Caitlin. And if I've forgotten anyone else, please do come up. We do want to make sure that we acknowledge you, but this is the list that we have. And we'd just like to provide you with the ribbon as well as to take a photo. Leave it there. Oh, okay.
So just before we um, leave, I just want to take a few moments to um, express our gratitude. Um, the first um, area of thank yous, we just want to say thank you to our grade 8 leaders for the Mass today and for our grade 8 teachers for preparing you for our Mass. So could we just take a second to give them a round of applause because they did a great job. Okay. Also, um, we thank Joanna for the music. Father, we thank you for leading us through our math, our mass. And uh, Jesus, I'm not sure where. Thank you so much uh, for your, your words and the homily. Um, they sure do hit home for all of us. So we thank you. Also, altar servers, thank you very much. And um, our teachers. Thank you for um, leading the classes here to the church. I know that it's our first time back, but it's so wonderful to have everyone gathered again. Um, so thank you for that. And finally, I just want to say thank you to our parent community for attending today. Um, it's so great to have the whole community here. So thank you very much. Everyone, have a safe journey back, and we'll see you at school. Thank you. Oh, yeah. One, one last. So, and it gets going. Announcements. Okay, can you hear me better? Okay, fantastic. So, I would just like to make a few announcements about our youth ministry. So, we are starting back up with our youth ministry year. We're going to go full swing, uh, which means we're going to start off with our class visits. So both Jesus and I, as a reminder, will be in your classroom tomorrow. So from the grades 2 to 8. And uh, we are looking for all of you to participate in our youth group here at the parish. There's going to be more information coming in your classrooms. We will be showing a video. We will giving, we'll give you postcards, um, some good stuff so that you can look forward. But... Just in short, what is EDGE? Maybe some of you have heard of it. Some of you attended EDGE actually a few years ago. And EDGE is our program for grades five to eight. And what we do is we work on fellowship. We work on discipleship. We work on a community. We work on um, our relationship with God. And we meet you exactly where you are at. So if you are in grade five to eight and you're looking for fellowship, you're looking for a community, you're looking for a deeper way that you can grow in your relationship with God, with people your age, with people who also want to get to the same goal, with people who also want to reach sainthood, in other words. So we'll speak more about this in the classroom, and uh, we look forward to having you there. And so we'll have different events throughout the year as well. We'll have some fun stuff. We'll, we have prizes as well, so I uh, look forward to those. And yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless.
And lastly, we'll just have our closing hymn. So uh, as you file out, feel free to sing along. Oh, Maria, you lead us to the Lord. Oh, Maria, you show us where to go. Together we pray through you. You always help us through. Oh, Maria. Oh, Maria, you lead us to the Lord. where to go together we pray through you you always help us through oh maria in the days of our youth we need a friend to guide us on our way you are our mother chosen by god and that's why we call your name Maria, Maria, oh Maria, you show us where to go. Oh Maria, you show us where to go. Together we pray through you, you always help us through. Oh Maria, oh Maria, you show us where to go. A reminder that we are still in church. Shh. A reminder that we are still in God's home. And so please quietly, quietly leave the church.